Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and I wanted to hop on here to talk about the recent PlayStation Plus price increase. Uh, for the first time since the PlayStation Plus service has launched, it is getting an official price increase from Sony. Uh, the price is going from $50 to $60, and everybody's been talking about this subject. There's been a lot of people that have been very distraught over the matter, and a lot of people have complained about it. And I'm not really sure why. I mean, yes, a price increase is never a good thing. I mean, who wants to actually pay more money when they can avoid doing so, right? Now, that being said, there are a couple of things we need to consider here. Uh, for one, PlayStation Plus has, up until this point, always been cheaper than Xbox Live Gold. Xbox Live Gold has been $60 for years. As a matter of fact, if you don't believe me, just do some research on your own. The price of Xbox Live Gold went from $50 to $60 in 2010. That was after originally launching the service, I believe, in 2002, uh, where it started at $50 and remained that for about eight years before it finally increased. But we have to consider a few things with this here. First of all, when Xbox Live Gold did its price increase from $50 to $60, the only thing that it paid for was online gameplay, which I personally don't like paying for online. Back then, I guess it was a little bit more acceptable because Xbox was really the only really good online platform at that time. Uh, but Sony caught up. They, they did catch up over time. And they made, uh, you know, the regular PlayStation 3 Online much more competitive. Uh, maybe it's still not quite as good as Xbox Live on 360, but it is a lot better than it was when it first started. Um, so when they did that price increase, the only thing we were getting was online gameplay. At least with PlayStation Plus, we get so much more besides that. We do get games that you get access to um, every month. You get two free titles a month. Uh, for PS4, and you also get two for PS3 and two for Vita. Um, so you get a total of six free games a month. Um, you can literally save hundreds of dollars a year if you were to have a Plus or Gold subscription versus, you know, buying the games all a la carte. So that's in addition to the online play. You also get other features like the online cloud storage and so much more. I'm not going to really get into that. What should Sony give to us in return for the price increase? Well, they really should give us something. They should give us some kind of concession, but the fact of the matter is it's not going to happen, guys. Uh, Microsoft gave us absolutely nothing back in 2010. Why should Sony? Microsoft charged $10 more than Sony. Why shouldn't Sony charge the same price? I'm saying this not from a Sony pony perspective, although somebody's going to totally write me off as one. Because, yes, I do have more Sony games than the other platforms. But, hear me out on this, okay? Would this have happened if people fetched up about it back in 2010 when Microsoft did this? Who knows? Maybe it would have still happened. Maybe Microsoft would have still pursued it. Maybe Sony would have still did this increase. But, at least we would have had a chance of it not happening if people spoke up about it then. People did not speak up about it then. I'm just going to show you a nice little YouTube screen capture of a search result. Uh, most of the search results that you see here, obviously, are only relevant to a specific live gold increase that's only happened in certain countries recently uh, that has not affected the U.S. or other major areas of the world. Um, and nobody really complained about it back then. This was not an issue. Back then, uh, we didn't have YouTubers, I guess, complaining about this stuff. Or people just didn't really care quite as much. I mean, the Xbox fan base didn't care, and the Sony fan base was like, whatever. You know, we get free games, so we don't care that their price is increasing. <laughs> you know, people didn't care about that back then. And that's kind of the problem. Uh, this is a systemic response to our inaction, people. This is why... PlayStation Plus price is increasing. It's increasing because we said nothing and we did nothing. Those people on the Xbox platform, they gladly paid the extra 10 bucks a year because they were 100% convinced that it was worth the increase. 
Now all of a sudden people are complaining about it even though they get so much more now for that money than they did back then in 2010. Everybody's talking about this subject and it's... I just find it really funny to see. Just look at the screen capture right here. I mean, it's just insane how much more people are complaining about it, how much more people are upset about it than they were six years ago for Xbox. I mean, surely something is amiss here, right? I, I must be missing something as to why it was perfectly acceptable for Microsoft to do this, yet Sony is the one that doesn't get the free pass. I don't know, it's weird. And, you know, I mean, it seems like everybody gets a free pass in some regard, because it seems like Sony's actually getting a free pass about something that I consider a lot more severe than the plus increase. And that is the fact that Sony's been, you know, censoring people, showing off this PlayStation 4 Slim that supposedly exists. Um, I'm pretty sure it exists because, I mean, there's actual unboxing videos. Why doesn't Sony just let the cat out of the bag? I'm like, okay, uh, you caught us. You know, congratulations. Here's a PlayStation 4 Slim coming out then. And, you know, just go ahead and release that early. You still have an event for the Neo. The Neo hasn't been let out of the bag yet, has it? Hmm. Good question. But anyways, what's the deal, guys? I really want to see people. I mean, if, you're, if this really upsets you, cancel your subscription. Cancel your PlayStation Plus subscription. But I want you to look at this here. This right here is a list of games that I have on my PS3. And we're not even talking PS4 or Vita. I'm not going to show you all that stuff. Although some of these games you're seeing are clearly Vita games. This is a list of games that I got because I subscribed to PlayStation Plus. I want you to look at this list very closely. And tell me if you're still going to cancel that uh, subscription. If you are, then, then fantastic. Stick to your principles. Cancel the subscription. Send a message to Sony. Let everybody know to do the same. Get as many people on board as possible. Maybe if enough people drop out of the subscription, Sony may have no choice but to go back to the $50 price. Or they may have no choice but to offer something in addition to that increase to justify the reason for the increase. Okay? Now, one thing we definitely need to realize is this has absolutely nothing to do with the Ghostbusters movie being a flop, supposedly. Uh, which um, actually is not the case if you actually look at uh, some of the various figures. I mean, yeah, look at the box office receipts and all that stuff alone. Yeah, it doesn't look good. But you have to consider merchandising and all this other crap as well. Uh, plus, the DVD and Blu-ray releases, which, you know, there's going to be people who are going to be buying the movie, despite the issues with it. <laughs> but we know, there, that just doesn't make sense, guys. Whoever came up with that thought process that the increase was because of a movie flopping are fucking stupid, to be honest with you. Whoever thought that was actually a legitimate reason for the price increase, they're, they're, not, they're, they're not very smart people, okay? Um, because, for one, Sony's movie and game divisions are ran completely as separate entities. They have nothing to do with each other. They have different financial re earning reports and all this other stuff that you people do not understand, clearly. If you think that that's a reason why they're doing the price increase. No, the reason why they're doing the price increase is because we said, okay, when Microsoft did theirs. We are like, okay, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. So why are we holding Sony to a double standard where it's all of a sudden a problem when they're wanting to charge the same thing that Microsoft already charges for? Give me an answer, guys. Don't just click the dislike button and leave. Give me an actual response to why you think that it's not okay for Sony to do the same thing that Microsoft did six years ago when we said nothing about it back then. I look forward to your response. Otherwise, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, sub, all that good stuff. If you enjoyed this content, and uh, till then, down Phoenix out.